Welcome to this channel traders. Today I want us to look at the trend reversal strategy that is found on fast bull. If you have never heard about fast bull, I guess you should thank me for showing you something that you have never seen. Okay, fast bull is a very rich source for all traders who want to make money in the forex market. Lots of cool stuff won't finish it in a day. Okay, so for today we'll just look at that strategy. Otherwise, there's lots of other information, including the economic calendar. Okay, we'll look at that one when we learn about strategies that have to do with trading the news, fundamental trading. Okay, you have the analysis of the market. Okay, we'll look at that some other time, how to use it. See that you also have signals, free signals. If you've been paying for signals, I'll be showing you how to use the AI signals found on fast pool. The reason why I want us to look at these strategy traders, if you go to the signals uh, panel right here on fast pool and then you come here to the rankings. OK, let, let us just go to the monthly rankings. OK, when you get to the monthly rankings, see that the best performing signals come from the trend reversal strategy with a huge number of pips. OK, the other strategies are just following, but they are not that effective. It is only the trend reversal strategy. And the reason is simple traders. I always talk about this strategy in my channel. OK, this is what this strategy is all about. It is about finding uh, entries at the beginning of the trend at the beginning of the trend so when you open a forex chart you go through the time frames to have a clear picture of the trends in the market so that you can be able to find your entries and finding the entries is very simple very simple remember what i always say you focus on these turning points that are touching the trend line okay these turning points that are touching the trend line and the last one was this one so you mark the last one like that and then if price comes to close above it you know that it is a sign of a reversal you take a trade okay you buy so price closed above it either there or there so at a pullback you enter the market. Same thing here. OK, for a sell, you look at the bottom turning points that are touching the trend line. OK, and then you mark the first one. That was the first one. When price lost above it there, I mean below it there, you know that it is a sign of a reversal. You look to buy at the pullback, you enter your sell trade. OK, same thing here. You just mark the last part. There was the last part. Price closed above it there. You know that it is a sign of a reversal. Pull back in the market. You take a buy trade. This is what this strategy is all about. OK, and an example in the market. Let me show you this one. What is this? It's gold. OK, this was an uptrend. I think I explained this. Was it on another video? OK, this was an uptrend. You look at the last part. There was the last turning point touching the, the trend line. You mark it like that. So when price closed below it, there you know that it is a sign of a reversal you sell okay so all these pips could be yours so this strategy is powerful i know i know i've been using it it really works so now traders let's go back to the signals i want to show you how to pick the right ones right here on first pull okay what you have to focus on is the strategy notice that for this signal it is from the macd plus channel strategy okay 
so remember that the performing strategies or signals come from the trend reversal in my opinion it is actually best to look for the signals that come from the trend reversal strategy okay trend reversal strategy uh, this is short term swing short term swing okay these are other strategies so right now we don't have a signal from the trend reversal strategy but what i wanted to show you is that always if you are to be following these signals check the strategy some strategies are worth it some are not okay so check the strategy and then do your own analysis so that you can adjust your stops and tps because remember traders like i always say okay let's go back to that example so on this example if you are okay let me also point at that if you are to find a sell trade or to enter the market right there remember that these turning points let's say you sell there these turning points are your take profits so this is your tp1 this is your tp2 or tp3 because you also have another take profit there okay i hope it's clear traders i hope it's clear let me show you on this live example okay you have those points touching the market those points touching the market those points touching the market so those key levels are supposed to be your take profits okay if you entered the sell trade up there this was supposed to be your tp okay here is another tp if you are to hold this trade and then this should be your last tp okay so this is how you look at it for the stop loss if you enter the market there your stop loss is supposed to be slightly above that key level okay if you are going to enter the market after price crosses this key level your stop is supposed to be slightly above that key level okay so traders this is what forex is all about so go ahead and check out this website check out the signals the strategies available here we'll look at other things on another video i will leave the links in the video description thank you for watching